fucking wrong to lads. Yeah, you freaking did. Good day for it. Good day to be a hawks on glots. Oh, dick, boys. Day cocked. Come on, Ford. You ain't weighed down that much. One of the viewers asked a couple weeks ago how many miles I had on this old rig, and I think I answered like 235 as a guesstimate. Hell, I got 250. But the chassis is sitting with 250, but the engine doesn't have that much. The engine's fairly new. It's a long block, so it's the whole thing, but I probably got about 125,000 on the actual engine. So I might be able to get 400,000 out of the chassis, huh? I don't plan on getting rid of her until she costs too goddamn much money to fix and it's not feasible anymore. She'll last me for another 20 years, I'll probably keep on driving her. Oh, dude got out, and the old lady went and talked to him, and uh, he said everything's cool, not to worry about it. I don't think he'd actually heard the real story until she went down and told him. Of course, if you were to watch my YouTube channel, I told you all the real story, I don't fucking lie. So, uh, you can watch this and get the real story too, right? But, uh, yeah, he, uh, it's not showing that he bonded out, and she didn't ask him outright, but it's not showing that he bonded out on the website, it's just not showing him on there. So I'm thinking they just dismissed all the charges because they realized that nothing was actually stolen. There might have been one thing that was reported stolen, apparently. You know, I don't know if necessarily they can prove that he received stolen property because I don't think he had any knowledge of it, and he didn't make any attempt to hide it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think he... I think they basically fucked him. They basically loaned his car to somebody who was a dick fuck and apparently went around stealing shit and they got pulled over and busted for it. I say they, it was, a old, it was a dude and his old lady or whatever. The dude got busted, they let the lady go, which is how my neighbor got his car back. But then the, that lady, I guess, told the police, oh yeah, no, it's not my man, it's the dude that owns this car. And so that's why they came to his house and like I said in my other videos, it's bullshit. I don't know why they just didn't be like, hey man, we got some reports that some of this shit is stolen, can we run your numbers? And I'm sure he'd have been like, yeah, run the fucking numbers, it ain't stolen. Um, and it is stolen, it ain't been announced to me, and I'll fuck it, it ain't been announced to me, and I'll tell you the motherfuckers I got it from. You know, and they could have posted a sheriff at each end of our road because you, there's only two ways out from where we live. And I'm pretty sure that would have cost the department and the county less than housing him in jail for 30 days. <clears throat> so, I don't think they went about it the right way. I think they could have done a little bit more investigation, and I stated all that in my movies. So, you know, whatever, dude. We're not best friends or nothing, but, you know, it ain't, no, it ain't right for anybody to be fucked if they don't deserve it. And any doubts I had, man, when that fucking paper came out and said $500,000 worth of shit, I was like, oh, fuck, man. I know y'all are full of shit. All that shit brand new wasn't $500,000. It'd have been lucky to be a quarter mil. And ain't well, none of it fucking new, and most of it was shit. Even his brand new side-by-side -side was a Chinese piece of crap that didn't even work right. But yeah, he's out. Old lady talked to him, and he said everything's cool, not to worry about it, so... I guess I'm not worried about it, but, uh, shit. I don't know that I wouldn't be... I think I'd probably want to sue the county. I think if they came and arrested me for a bunch and took, I mean, fuck man, y'all saw like some of the shit they were taking and if you see the videos, I'm sure I got it on video from back in the day, all the shit he actually had in his yard. So you can actually, so you can deduce how much shit they actually took and he's got to go through all that trouble to get all that shit back. And I just think it's bullshit, man. If none of that shit was stolen and they came and they just took everything off his goddamn property, Without doing an investigation, it's like, oh, we'll just fucking take everything and sort it out later. That's some fucking bullshit. Not to mention all the money it costs the fucking county. How much do they have to pay all those tow trucks to tow all that shit away? It's fucking bullshit, man. I said from the get-go, they could have fucking just talked to the dude. Tried to figure out what was what. I mean, hell, that's what they did to me. They came and talked to me. They said, what's up? I told them what's up. So I went and got my son's shit. Oh, why'd you get my son's shit? Because the fucking house was open. And the dude that's supposed to be watching it said it fucking was all locked up tight. And it wasn't locked up tight, so I'm like, what the fuck? 
You know, so I reacquired my son's shit and secured it in my house. You know, whatever. So, I was honest. I think he would have been honest. He might be a little bit of an asshole, but I don't think he's a liar. So, I don't know. Whatever. Do you think my ignition switch is bad? I don't know if you can hear my car running right now. On the bright side, I don't have calves running around in my backyard, so I don't know what the fuck that was about last time. Oh, dick, boys. Going to do some combining. Terrible! Terrible! Hey, freaking R. Maybe they'll give me my CDL. What happened? But, uh, yeah, man, take up the whole damn road with those fuckers. I'd hate to be coming up over a hill while that fucker was coming up the other side. Dickard, how you doing? Oh, the little, little baby kitty the cats. Hello, little kitties. All the little kitties. Hello, little kitties. I got a bunch of kitties. Look at all the little baby kitties. Everybody loves baby kitties. Yeah, 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 you're a baby kitty. I see a bunch of kitty cats. Who likes to eat kitty cats? Please come over and frick you see uh, a cat. Have you seen Feller's leg? I don't think I've shown you Feller's leg. Don't go nowhere, Feller. Hey, buddies. Hey, buddies. The orange boy. Let me show him your fucking leg here. Son of a dick. It's actually looking a lot better. You're looking better, buddy. I don't know what you got in a fight with. They fucked you up. I may or may not have tried to shoot this gray cat yesterday. I neither confirm nor deny your suspicions. What the fuck is that? Ice cubes? Plastic? Must be plastic. Oh yeah, it's plastic. How is ice cubes not melting outside? And where'd they come from? Alright. Which one of y'all want to be steak? I'm in the mood for steak tonight, and I got a pocket knife handy. Oh, you definitely look like steak. Where are you going? You are not a cow. And you are really small. A calf is very interested, though. Y'all should totally kiss each other. Oh shit, the big... Look at Lucky. Look at Lucky regulating. You gonna get cow stomped by that Charlay, Lucky. No. Charlays are mean. You're mean bitch, aren't you? You mean bitch, aren't you? How you doing? <laughs> Lucky, cut it out. One kick from one of these fuckers and you're done. Dumbass. I don't know why you think you're so fucking bad. What are you, mutton shop? It's getting water terrible. Well, I've been putting off Project Plexiglass for close to a year. <laughs> because I'm a fucking goof. I have no valid excuse. Stuck this towel in there. When I broke this window, I was pissed one day. I don't even remember what over, probably something completely insignificant. And I can't remember the last time I lost my timber before that, but boy, I threw a coffee cup right through that motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, it's impossible to find windows for these old fucking trailers unless you special order them or whatever. So I just got myself a piece of plexiglass here from the Home Depots. Crazy how expensive plexiglass is. And I'm just gonna cut it, cut it to, uh, to spec. And I'm going to caulk it in there, uh, probably on the inside, but I might not be able to because if I ever want to open it, I might need to do it from the outside. So I don't know. I got to look at it. But this is going to be today's project if I can get motivated to do it. Good day for it.